Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Lenny Melnick's Fantasy Sports Network. And this is Chacha. This morning, having breakfast with Lenny's Legion in the chat room and all the millions and millions and zillions of people that listen to the network. Lenny Melnick will be back today, folks, at 9 a.m. I've gotten that correct today. I got it right from the horse's mouth last night as I spoke with the legend himself. He will be here live for your entertainment and information pleasure, giving you his fantasy outlooks, his regular baseball knowledge, like he always gives you his little tidbits, his nuggets, and anything else that's coming over that brain of his. Lenny Melnick does it like nobody else does it, folks, as we all know. And uh, we're happy to have him back at 9 o'clock on the Legends Network. And I'm going to give you a little bit of... uh, what I'm going to try to do every day here, if I can, make it up this early, having my breakfast as I am having my breakfast as I speak. Right now, my coffee has run it over as I have a um, a beautiful coffee pot here, folks. It's a ninja, a ninja coffee pot, and it makes me my coffee every day, and uh, sometimes it overflows. So when it overflows, well, you know what that means? I got a little problem here, trying to do a podcast and balancing... My balancing act ain't going to work today. I guarantee that. Some of this coffee is going to hit the uh, the counter. But that's all right. More coffee for me. That's the way I look at it as I stir my coffee. Now, last night, folks, we had a... Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, pickups and drops. I am in about six different leagues. So I would figure I'd try to help everybody in the morning with their uh, waiver wire pickups and drops for uh, during the day. Now, there may be some guys that I mention or players that you may consider that you may be considering picking up or dropping, and maybe this will help you guys decide. This could be the factor in you deciding, well, hey, you know, Cha-Cha's league, this isn't just me. This is uh, this is just a lot of the uh, intelligent people that I actually play with in a lot of these leagues, and a lot of those people are actually in this chat room. Most of the times... You'll find a lot of these people in the chat room. So a lot of these people will be, your names are going to be spoke about on a regular basis. So guess what? If you get here maybe 15, 20 minutes earlier every day, your name may be spoken about in this in my podcast every single day. So if you play in any of my uh, leagues, then... Uh, you're going to probably be uh, pretty much a part of my podcast on a daily basis. So if you're making moves, if this if this helps you, that you want to be known, and you want people to know, hey, I'm in a league, and they're actually talking about my league. They're actually mentioning who I picked up or who I'm dropping. Well, you're at the right place, folks. Because now your league is going to get some attention here, and we're going to try to keep people involved, and I'm hoping this keeps people involved in playing fantasy sports, especially fantasy baseball, as we go ahead in these tough months coming ahead. Because I know there's a lot of teams right now that are on the edge. They got some of their teams that may not be doing as well as they could, but maybe with some of this waiver wire help, it may encourage you to go on the waiver wire today or tomorrow, or at least consider making some moves to help your team move up in the standings. Now I'm going to go over to one of my leagues. Let's see which one I'm going to pick today. Lenny, I think, uh, is Lenny in the uh, chat room there? Somebody's in the chat room. That's good to know. I think Donkey Oki and Lenny uh, himself. I don't think Andrea's up this early, but if she is, nice to have you in the chat room. I don't even know what the hell's going on in the chat room half the time, but I'll do my best to try to include you guys if you want to be part of this podcast. Now, we only have a few minutes, so uh, the Lenny the Legend himself is coming on today at 9 o'clock, so everybody knows. And I'm going to go whip, whip it over to, uh, well, it says, looks like looks like I'm live on the air here, so if that's, a, that's a good thing. So this is only my second day doing this, and uh, there he is. All right, good morning. There's Lenny. All right, so I know I got somebody to talk to. Well, at least somebody's listening. So let me go over to Yahoo, because that's where I play in most of my leagues. I'm also in uh, the NFBC League. That I'll probably the problem with the NFBC League is I don't have an app. They don't have an app out. I don't believe for their for their uh, service, so I can't really get into their um, their site unless I'm actually on a computer. Now I'm doing this off my iPhone and I'm on the run. So it would help if the NFBC would uh, 
make a, an app so that uh, I would be more than happy to uh, give the results from uh, their site over to my listeners here. But uh, if you guys want to promote the NFBC a little more, I'll be happy to do it as they do with Yahoo. And um, if anybody's listening out there that ha- that's a part of the NFBC, uh, hey, this is Cha-Cha. You get in t- contact with me. I'll be happy to promote you. You know, you want to throw me a bone? Hey, you know, no problem here. I like playing in your league. I'm in the uh, TGFBI league over there on uh, on your site. So let's move over to uh, what's happening here. Now I'm going to use, uh, we have a uh, AL Auction League. Now um, it's called the uh, Andrea and Lenny AL Auction League, and that's over on Yahoo. And there's only uh, 10 teams in that league. So it's a tough, you, got, you know, uh, you know, as it goes, there's not that many pickups normally because there's not a lot of guys to pick up on a normal basis. But let's see if there was any pickups last night in the league. Now, the guy that's in first place, the guy that's the most active in the league, is a team called Leclerc Gallo. Now, Leclerc stands for, I'm guessing, the, the relief pitcher that's pitching for the Rangers, and Gallo is Joey Gallo. Now, if that's not correct, then I, I apologize for that, but I believe Leclerc Gallo is the reigning Right now, first place team, and he's been dominating this league since day one. Uh, we have to uh, uh, have a little. We're not that far away. I got. I think there's me, Andrea, a few of us are uh, right on his tail. Kevin Hastings of Aloha Fantasy Baseball is also. We're not that far away from him. We're within ten points, I believe. So um, there is a, an opportunity for us to uh, grab him before he uh, gets to that finish line. But last night he picked up. Look, where is the outfielder for the Cleveland Indians? I think his name, if I could say it properly, his last name is Luplaw or Luplaw or whatever his name is. Anyway, he's been bouncing around on the waiver wires a lot these days. But he did drop Mark Kenya from the Oakland Athletics to pick up this Jack, I mean Jack Luplaw. Uh, listen, I don't know if that's apples to apples, folks. Mark Kenya, when he does play, I think he, he does, I'll tell you one thing about Mark Kenya. If they, the guy played every day, probably hit 20 home runs and drive in 70 runs right now that's no big deal in today's maybe baseball but I think that he could handle that but he just doesn't play against right handers enough I guess if he got an opportunity who knows maybe he hit 25 home runs now our resident beach bum and that's his name over in the chat room picked up uh Chavez for a buck now L- loop lore over there for Leclerc Gallo didn't cost him anything but this uh, Jesse Chavez for a dollar, but whatever the hell, he picked the beach bum picked up Chavez for a buck and dropped Joe be a genie. Joe be a genie tonight. Yeah, I like that song, baby. Joe be a genie. All right. If only he could throw strikes a little more, get some people out. Joe be a genie. He would be a closer for some team. Right now, I think he's the closer right now for Toronto until uh, Kenny Giles comes back. I don't know, but he's still out there on the waiver wire as he's going to go back on the waiver wire tonight as uh, my man, the beach bum, picked up Chavez for a buck. Good luck there, my friend. Now, let's see what we got here. Leclerc Gallo, he didn't stop there. Last night, he got a little chubby in his pants. He picked up because he had two home runs, I think, against the Yankees last night. Jake Marisnick. Jake Marisnik, I'll say that correctly, maybe one of these days. And he dropped Mitch Moreland, who's been injured, but is a productive player when he does play. Very underrated. We don't give Mitch Moreland any respect. I can understand the move. He got a little chubby. He spent five bucks. And he's now the owner of Jake Marisnik. And Jake, unfortunately, probably won't play that much. So he'll be sucking wind on the bench for Mr. LeClerc Gallo. I got a funny feeling. Now, Beach Bum also made another move. Wow, I spent some money. 12 bucks. He picked up William Williams Astadio. Williams Astadio, who was, who was unceremoniously sent down to the minor leagues not too long ago. A lot of us, uh, me included, were hoping this kid got a chance to play on a regular basis because there's one thing he does. He hits. And what's all we care about in fantasy sports, right, folks? The guy hits. And if you get a catcher that can hit, Man, oh man, you're upstairs dancing on the on the uh, top of your bed. But uh, Mr. Rastadio, unfortunately, now he does qualify for catcher third base, and I believe he played second base uh, uh, either yesterday or t- the day before. So for, before you know it, he'll be qualified at three positions, which definitely is a nice little uh, extra there for you folks. So uh, Mr. Rastadio was picked up for and dropped nobody. 
picked him up. Didn't have to drop anybody. Now our boy uh, Arnie, Arnie's army, Mr. Uh, he's the uh, charisma of uh, our station now. He's taking over the airwaves here since Lenny's been uh, taking out, uh, taking care of business. He's been away for a little while. So Arnie's army, he's called Yankees Dynasty 2019. Unfortunately, Arnie, when you are called Yankees Dynasty 219 and you're brown though, last place in this league. I think you better uh, maybe change your name, okay? So let's think about changing your name there, Arnie, if you're listening. I know when I'm here every day listening to you, I hope you're listening to me and the rest of this friggin' station, okay? We got to help each other out here. Anyway, Mr. Arnie dropped the great Samson of the Texas Rangers. I just dropped him like a hot cake. Now, this league, there's not a lot of people to pick up, folks. I personally, in a league like this, Samson's the kind of guy I guess you can kind of spot start here and there. But in this league, I guarantee you, next time I'm talking to you is probably next week. Samson will be picked up by somebody. I will guarantee that. Guarantee it. Especially if he pitches halfway decent the next time he's out. I guarantee it. We got another pickup here from our boy Beach Bum. No, excuse me. Picked him up. He dropped the dude like a hot potato. Beach Bum dropped Ryan Healy, who's been injured, of the Seattle Mariners. Now, again... Folks, this league is very slim. You're not going to have people to pick up and drop that much because it's a 10-team AL league. There's not a lot of guys out there. Ryan Healy, he's getting scooped up. Somebody's got to scoop this guy up next week. He's got to be scooped up. you got to lay him on your bench. But this guy, when he does get back in there, the guy can hit. And, uh, hey, listen, I don't know if there's anybody else on the way to wire right now that I'd rather have on this league than Ryan Healy. So much for that. Now, I, I'm going to end this league off with a guy that I picked up, Aaron Nola's brother. Yeah, you know, he had a brother. Yeah, the dude's got a brother. And he's he's listed at a, as a first baseman, but he's also a catcher. Now, I picked him up because he's got, I'm hoping that he's going to catch a few games. That's Nola's brother. Don't get mixed up. It's not It's not the pitcher if you're picking him up. He qualifies now at first base on Yahoo. Now, I don't know how much playing time this guy's going to get, but when it comes to catches, once again, if I see a guy out there that can actually swing a bat and hit a ball and he catches, well, in a league like this, I picked him up, put him on my bench, and help him for the future that he plays some. And remember, this is a daily moves. So when I looked up every day and I see this guy, if he's out there playing, I'm putting him in because my catch is a weak, weak. Very weak, folks. Now let's try one more league here, and then we'll move on to the... L.A. Melnick's going to be up in less than five minutes. I don't want to go crazy here. We're going to go to Lenny Melnick's, my Section 8 Lenny Melnick's Fantasy League. That's with everybody on this site. We're all part of this league. It's a fantastic league. And go figure. Go figure, folks. Michelle Pollock, I'm going to tell you her name. Why? Because she is one of the best fantasy players in this League and on anywhere for that matter. She's never ever been not competitive in any league that she's ever played with me. Michelle Pollock, you're getting put up on a pedestal. That's right. She's currently in first place. She's won other leagues that I played in before. She's won football. She's won baseball. Where are you, Michelle? We miss you. Come back to the chat room. She used to be a regular here almost all the time. She's had, a, I think, a work issue, so she can't be here. I hope you're out there listening today, Michelle, because Chacha has given you your, what you deserve. Number one, go figure. She picked up Mr. Holt, old Brock Holt over there from the Boston Red Sox, and she dropped the great, oh, my goodness, she dropped Dexter Fowler right on his head. Dexter Fowler no longer with Go Figure. That's her name. The team name is Go Figure. And Brock Holt. Who qualifies your four different positions? My man is now Go Figures team. Now he's the guy that's been sucking wind. Unfortunately, he must be smoking a lot of that weed that he's out distributing. Our boy Danny calling himself Kabizzle Lizzle, whatever team. He's the Kabizzle man. He also is the weed man. He manufactures weed legally where he lives. Thank you very much, Dan, for that little package you sent to me not that long ago. Woo! Anyway, Mr. Cabizzle here, Danny, he has a show, by the fact, Monday night. If I can remember the name of it, it'd be helpful. Unfortunately, I can't right now. But anyway, Danny's got a show Monday night at 11 o'clock on this network. And he does a very good job. Sometimes he even does a show on Thursday with that other uh, guy, that dug, the dugout, who has a show tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I give these guys all the props in the world. I don't even get a friggin' thank you, a friggin' car.